As a VFX artist, there's no question that you need important skills to be good at what you do. But honestly, all that talent won't mean much if you don't have quality assets that can showcase your abilities and help you finish your project under the deadline. So in today's video, we'll be taking a look at some of the best resources in this field that can sometimes be overwhelming or very difficult to create manually. So we're gonna be taking a look at some of the best websites for VFX assets that can be used honestly by hobbyists and professionals alike. Before we continue, let me tell you about AVC Lab's new tool called Video Blur AI. If you ever needed to blur parts of a video, like faces, backgrounds, license plates, or any object in general, doing it manually can be frustrating. And AVC Labs Video Blur AI streamlines the process with AI tools that track and blur moving objects effectively. It also allows you to manually select areas to blur, offering flexibility when specific adjustments are required. It also lets you blur faces across a scene or select specific ones. In addition, it handles sensitive elements like moving license plates in dashcam footage and stationary ones like signs in surveillance videos. This blend of automated tracking and manual selection adapts to different scenarios, offering the control needed to maintain privacy and clarity while keeping the editing process simple and effective. And when you are done, exporting the video is simple. You can tweak settings like the format, say for example MP4 or tweak quality, bitrate, an encoder to suit your needs, or you can use the default options for a quicker output. It works on both Windows and Mac, making it accessible to a variety of users for both professional projects and personal ones. I think the best way to start with this list is with Action VFX, that claims to be the world's largest library of production quality VFX assets. So Action VFX is a website known far and wide throughout the VFX industry for its high quality and cinematic effects because it is used by professionals and hobbyists alike. The website is divided into three sections, 2D elements, 3D assets, and practice footage that you can use as a base to build some portfolio shots for example, which are generally hard to find in my opinion. I believe the 3D section is self-explanatory, and here you can find a little section of high quality assets, mostly featuring army base models, though you can also find a few props and volumetric effects. Then there is the 2D element section, and frankly, where do you even begin? It offers thousands upon thousands of options, covering explosions, energy, magic, optics, fire, smoke, and virtually every other staple effect in the industry. The quality is usually consistently high, and what really caught my attention is the detailed information provided for each asset. This includes resolution, typically 2K or 4K, and sometimes even higher, along with details about the color space, render passes, and the camera used to capture the live elements. It might not seem that much when you say it this way, but this detail is very important and it can even save you a lot of time. For example, knowing the color space of an asset is a good hint to know if it will match the color grading and style of the rest of the production and avoid any mismatch or unnatural looking effects when composited into a scene. The website also offers a collection of free assets including the Action VFX sample pack. However, it is often criticized for its pricing system, which can be a drawback for some users. Despite this, Action VFX remains one of the most well-known platforms in the industry, simply because it offers some high-quality assets that can cover different needs in VFX work. Another popular website is Footage Crate from Production Crate, which is the more popular name. So with a unique logo and a popular tutorial channel, this website became one of the most used service for many VFX professionals to acquire high quality VFX elements and stock footage. And the coolest thing about this site, I mean compared to the rest, at least for me, is how it takes a more general approach to footage, as it offers pretty much assets 
for everything you might need for filmmaking and beyond, such as VFX elements, motion graphics, sound effects, music, and 3D assets, as well as tools and plugins. Then, within each of these categories, there is a huge range of genres and options to choose from. For example, in the VFX section, you can find dust and smoke, in addition to dirt, debris, magic powers, water, and even anime or cartoony elements, something that many of the competition doesn't offer, as well as many other types, and that is only in one section. So you can only imagine how it is when you add all the other ones. Unfortunately, Production Crate used to offer a free plan once upon a time, but nowadays there are only paid subscription from what I can see. Following that, we've got Make Big Films. And if the name sounds a bit unfamiliar, that's because it is the youngest service in this roster. However, Big Films itself is an established company with 8 years of experience producing high-quality VFX packs. So without level of foundation or background, they decided to launch the subscription-based service under the name of Make Big Films in 2023, and they offer a lot of VFX effects with unlimited downloads. And basically, it offers three tiers. The free plan, which gives you 10 downloads per day from their collection of free assets, and two subscription plans that provide unlimited downloads across their extensive premium library, with 4K assets, weekly updates, and free sound effects. As for the assets themselves, similar to the other services on the list, you will find the expected classics such as explosions, fire, and muzzle flashes. But there are also some unique offers like kaiju, snakes, and dragons. And as a bonus, you can also create your own private collections of free assets and keep them organized through the website. And for artists in the field, hard drives offer end up a mess, with folders piling up all over the place. So having the option to keep everything neatly organized online can go a long way. Another popular destination for VFX assets is Video Copilot, founded by Andrew Kramer, who is a popular VFX expert in the community. I'm sure many of you have heard of the website, as nearly everyone who's tried to learn After Effects has watched one of Andrew's tutorials at some point. Think of him as the blender guru of After Effects. Although it hasn't been updated in years, the website still offers an incredible selection of assets, with one of the most important being Action Essentials 2. This collection features 500 pre-keyed high-definition elements available in both 2K and 720 pixels with built-in transparency, spread across 20 categories of effects such as explosions, smoke, debris, glass shattering, and many more. It also includes, as a bonus, 16 minutes of After Effects training and 20 action sound effects. Besides, the assets are easy to use. All you need to do is place them over your footage, and just like that, they will simply work, thanks to built-in transparency without any complicated keying or refinement, which can save a lot of time while compositing. One great thing about Video Copilot is that it is a one-time purchase, meaning that once purchased, you can keep using the assets forever, and they also offer as many other VFX assets to explore, especially if you are an After Effects user with all of their iconic plugins, such as Lens Flare. And to address the elephant in the room, while the website's design might feel a little bit outdated, the assets have stood the test of time and they still remain useful. Next is Tryon Digital by Riot Film, which is one of the most popular VFX tutorial channels here on YouTube. And I would say this one is unique because it has one big strength, but it is also a weakness at the same time. Let me explain. This is the case because it consists of a collection of VFX packs that you pay for once and keep forever. And compared to most prices, they are relatively affordable like anywhere from 20 to 90 bucks generally. Or you can also grab them in bundles, and there are even some free packs available. But on the other hand, this model does mean there is a bit of lack of options, because the selection is small, and it lacks some general types such as explosions. That being said, it does have some unique and cool packs that you won't find anywhere else. 
such as the horror lights, sci-fi, and even some special effects and video editing packs thrown into the mix. For example, one of my favorites is the sci-fi beam VFX assets that offer more than 35 assets of 4K beams that can also work as some sort of magical effect. Last but not least is FX Elements, which is a website that offers thousands of assets that reach 4D resolution and open AXR files and raw negative resolution that can go up to 8K. The best part about this website is that once you download an asset with a subscription, it is yours to keep and use forever for any current or future project, even if you cancel the subscription down the road. It will still be licensed for you forever. However, you can only have a limited number of downloads per day, starting with 10, and the number will depend on the license. On the other hand, you can just buy the individual effects clips and packs, starting with $9. And just like the other websites on the list, Effects Elements offers multiple categories of footage that you can pick from, such as smoke, dirt, liquids, and muzzle flashes. But I have to mention that this is a hit or miss in terms of quality compared to the other ones in this video, but also where everything is high quality. So in effects elements, you can find high quality assets, but also others that are not so good. So it will be up to you to pick the assets that you want and need in your specific projects. And there you have it, guys. If you want to take a look at some of these websites, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.